so here is what my poor little chair looks like all taken apart. Now I will tell you, it did not bust. I saved it. If your chair does bust, if it breaks to bits and pieces, you may be able to fix it easily enough. The parts that make it go together, just like shutters, are called styles and rails. So, using a very nice rubber mallet, I tapped it all apart, piece by piece. I cleaned each piece, I mixed up a gallon of soap and water, got an old sock for a rag, and I washed them all down. Using a wood file, you can use sandpaper too, I went around and I cleaned up all the old glue on all the old doweling. If your dowel breaks, that's not a problem. You can go get a dowel size to match and you can drill out a hole, glue in a new dowel, cut it to whatever length you need. At some point, some of my dowels have been replaced. You can tell because these are spiraled. The spiraling actually helps hold glue for a better bond. So at some point, this chair has been restored. And then I have these other pieces here that just needed cleaned up. Some just missing or stuck on another section. When I have it all glued using my finest wood glue, I'm just going to brush this on. Don't put it in all your joints. That's the mistake a lot of people make. You want the chair to have some give as you're sitting in it. So I'm going to go around and just liberally apply some wood glue to the dowel. You can put a little extra right here in these holes. Now I drilled out these holes with a 5 16, 5 16 inch drill so that I could get in there. You don't need to glue this whole section. Again, you want the chair to have some give. The problem I was having is that my whole thing was shifting and the kids like to stand on these rails and it needed to be saved before they snapped off. If that does happen, it's not a problem. Again, you can just cut this out with a chisel, drill the hole back out, put in a new dowel, and glue it all together. So, you can, to glue it all back together as tightly as possible, use these nice vices. You can use a strap, a ratchet strap, or just a lately applied pressure strap. So I'm going to get to glue in here and coating all these surfaces and getting myself back together.
okay. So you may be asking yourself, why is this crazy lady trying to get this chair back together instead of just going and buying a new set of chairs? These are heirloom chairs. These were my husband's great, great grandfather's chairs and he got them from his father. So this is the fifth generation, my children, the sixth generation that have used this table and chairs. Now, many years ago, I just recoated the chairs, washed them down, and I didn't actually refinish them. I have the speedy project of just getting these chairs glued up. I had noticed while I was eating, this is my particular chair, and the kids move them all around and use them as sports in the living room anyway, but it was wobbling a lot. And I thought, if it keeps wobbling this much, those dowels that hold it all together are going to break. Replaceable, not a problem. But now that I've got it all together, I'm going to go over it with this. This is called Restore a Finish. I have used this on these chairs in the past. I just haven't taken the time to sand them all down. While they're tore apart, it would be nice to be able to just to sand them and redo them. I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I've got too many other projects. So, mm, someday when I'm not so busy, I'll just refinish them like I did the table. So, um, this is going to restore the finish and make them look like they've been like totally redone. It'll kind of cover up scuff marks and things like that. Another trick is there's a product called Old English and they have it um, light or dark finish and you can just swipe it over the chairs. It's kind of oily so I didn't like this where this dries in 30 minutes and you can recoat it with a second coat or as many coats as needed. So they're all soapy cleaned. You can use um, just dish soap or wood cleaner like um, Less Oil is one of our favorite products. Um, pine salt, anything like that for wood cleaner to get all that food and grime out. A trick that I also did when I had redone these chairs and the table, like it's probably been 10 years. I'm sure Murdoch was a baby. I bought new fabric for all the chairs and it just staples on. I went ahead and bought clear vinyl to go over all of the cushions because we had little kids. We had more little kids coming and it's going to save me from having to redo fabric every couple of years or clean. So it's really nice to have just a clean wipe down service surface. So um, with age, some of the vinyl has become tore. So I'm going to just remove that from the bottom with those separate staples. But my staple is broken. So one step at a time. Now I got another repair to do. So I'm going to get on with this. After this um, gets all dried, I'm just going to start recoating it with the Restore a Finish. So just to show you, here's my finished chair. I've got everything all reassembled, glued, went over it with that Restore finish, and it's just looking nice now. It's not looking so wore out. On this chair, you can see it hasn't been done yet, how it's real light where our hands grab a hold of it to slide the chair out all the time. And I just wanted to say, like, you just kind of know when they need it. getting a lot of that wobble and that just took care of this real good. I'm real happy with the end results of it. And so now I've just got to get on with doing the last few chairs. The weather has turned cold since I started this project and I have done two or three of the chairs and I'm actually looking to try to find two more because as our family has grown, we have high chairs and booster chairs that are taking up space. So when grandma and grandpa come over to visit, it would be nice to have a match set. So if you happen to see two of these chairs local by me in Michigan, let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Remember to hit that like button and that notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. Bye-bye.